what I've got here is a very crude and dangerous uh, 12 volt battery charger well up to 38 volts whatever I've modified this was AC it's now DC I've got a uh, 200 amp 100 amp 200 amp and a 100 volt bridge in there which I got from Evo is about $30 um, so now the output's DC not AC anymore I've got it wound down to minimum 40 amps however I'm running a AC controller um, so this is 240 in screw it mind the setup because I'm still testing this is just an experiment and that's the controller four dollars and fifty cents from eBay it's a 2000 watt controller I've had this running for a while now and that little heat sink on the back not even hot thanks to my massive fan <laughs> whatever okay then the output of the controller goes to the welder. So I'm not controlling the output vol voltage, I'm controlling the input voltage to the transformer. I figure that's a better way. I don't know. Whatever, it's working. And then we've got your, just your two leads, your stinger, which is positive. And that's going to the battery. And then negative, which is your normal earth lead, which is negative. Currently I'm pulling, well I'm pumping 10 amps into the battery. Where this little pussy little thing can only do four, then it shuts out anyway. But anyway, it did its job. Sometimes I need, you know, quicker charge, quick charge or something. I'm just going to dial back the controller. So it's very variable, your amperage control. The voltage still stays at 13. Put a voltmeter on the battery and it stays at 13 volts. And there we go, and that's completely off. You know, I can pump this thing all the way up to, you know, that's 24 amps. Which obviously I don't want to chuck that much in. 10 amps is good enough for now. It's probably going to start getting hot soon anyway. Doesn't seem to be. But anyway, that's it. That's the crude battery charger. An old stick with a bridge in it to convert... AC to DC, outputs go directly to the battery and I've got a little AC controller over there in an awesome box with an awesome cooling fan and it's working well, little little controller, $4, bridge $30. So all up, you know, 40 bucks for a flipping potentially 150 amp battery charger. Yeah. Enjoy. Thanks.